Puking on the run, he swears at everyone He's just a lousy, no good boozer, another welfare loser Plus his wife is just a big fat whore And his son is rotten to the core How oh, why do they all stay together On Kevin Spencer? Kevin said, please talk quieter, because I have a brain injury. Will smoking will help that? Come on, shoplifting awaits. Oh my god! You ruined my car! Uh-oh, play dead. Hey, hey, are you hurt? I didn't realize. Here, this'll keep you warm. Hang on, I'm just going to call 911. What a fortuitous turn of events, what with uh, you being in the market for a new coat and all. Kevin couldn't help but agree. At least he thought he agreed, since most of what he was thinking was a jumbled mess on account of fairly major head trauma. Oh, poor me. I'm having trouble concentrating because I hurt my brain. Hey, everybody, feel sorry for me. Kevin said, watermelon hopscotch. Just grab the coat and fucking run! Hey, that's my coat! Hey! You coat-stealing bastard! I'll find you. And when I do, I will visit a darkness upon you, the likes of which mankind has never seen. <laughs> oh, you! Got the stove on. <laughs> Bacon is good, which I could afford some. Hey, meat in a can, gonna eat you. What up, and welcome back to the hit list. We've got some killer new entries this year. Yeah, yeah, and I guarantee you. These first couple are going to be hanging around come award show time. I guarantee you one of these is going to hit number one with a bullet. A short break, but you all stay tuned because when we get back, it's more coverage of the war in Iraq. Jeez, maybe music videos really is harmful to today's youths. <laughs> said, ponies run faster than arithmetic. Let's get cigarettes and some bowls. Uh, I think you mean booze. That's also a B word. 
Come on, I'll bring you to the camel toe. Maybe you can drink your head back to normal. Look, uh, I'm tight here. I, I just need a couple of days grace. I'll get the money. Tabarno Shangri-La cocksucker! Midnight or else! What's at midnight? Your last day alive if you don't come up with the money. I don't mean to be rude, fellas, but can you wrap up the bullshit so I can order a fucking beer? Jeez Louise, whole fucking world don't revolve around you. There's other people. I have feelings too. If I'm cut, do I not bleed? in public. Yeah, you you run away, you great, big, incredibly muscular and fit, violent mob enforcer. Jerk. Speaking of money, I ain't got any. Those are gonna have to tab me. Not a chance. I need paying customers. Fine. But it's a good thing for you I was able to rob my wife because she's unconscious on the kitchen floor. Jeez, really? You just left her there? It ain't like there was another option. Yeah, could have called for help. Listen here, smarty pants. Had I called for help, then I wouldn't have this money that I stole from her to give you for beer. Oh yeah, she'll probably be fine. And he's a tough old broad. You damn right I'm tough. You keep pulling the fucking beer, Marty, and he's potched. <laughs> So, you seen Poisey today? Yes, he's on the floor over there. Huh? I wonder what the hell happened to him. You didn't by any chance get hit in the head today, did you, Annie? Who wants to know? I didn't mean anything by it. Fine, fuck, relax. I just meant that I ain't got no idea who the hell you is. Give me another, Marty. Hey, you seen Poisey today? Hey, step out of it, boy! Boy, follow me! I believe this is yet another dilemma that can be rectified by the magic elixir beer. Annie, here comes your boy. Oh, hey, Kevin. Have you seen Kevin? Kevin said beer, wainscoting, and hydrofoil. No, I ain't seen you, Daddy. But, uh, have you seen Kevin? Again? Oh, I'll show you some head hitting. I'll show you some right good. Give me a beer. Five bucks. And Annie didn't pay for hers either, so cough up another five for that. What the hell is that? Garter snake. Why I got one of them in my pocket? Don't know. Trade your garter snake for beers. Gotta hell. You better hope I don't, that's all I got to say. Ten bucks, now. Jerk. Oh, hello, Snake. Ah, it's a fat, ugly, unwashed man! <laughs> well, that'll probably leave a mark. Silo, Mr. Good Odd Fuck. Beer. 20 bucks, because you still owe for the past three. Surely. Hey, have you poisonable child eyes saw, saw, saw seen? You, you might want to see a doctor after you finish spending all of your money on beer. Me good, you are me too. Good, me too. Well, it's because we go way back, Annie. 
Oh, I forgot to mention, beer prices went up. Now you owe me one hundred dollars. Well then, I'll just get it myself, along with a sizable tip. As Napoleon would say, sweet. Kevin had just come to on the floor of a bar. In his head was a chaotic jumble of misfiring synapses and broken trains of thought. So, uh, pretty much a business as usual then? Come on, let's get drunk. Kevin said, Well, this is fantastic. H hang on, Kevin. Now, normally I think the type of bird what's going to suggest we get to the booth later. But what we have here is a unique opportunity. Kevin said, uh... How about I just connect the dots for you? Your daddy is on the floor over there, and as near as he's going to remember, his head injury is on account of your fat mom. So, I'm thinking, free shot! Even though Kevin was having a hard time following the bird's train of thought, Somewhere deep in the base instinct of his psyche, his abject instinctual dislike of his father rose to the occasion. <laughs> Better boy, see if you can't hit your daddy in the head with it, the pool ball. <laughs> Feels good, don't it? That's ball. Now let us commence with the consumption. Kevin, you know you're a miner. I can't serve you unless you have money. Jeez, Kevin, a cheap orange novelty wig. <laughs> Just what I always wanted. Tell you what, leave the wig, I won't give you any beer, and fuck off until you get some money! Kevin said vampires ate my Autobahn. Come on, boy, let's go get us some money and sort this mess out. I tell you, there are days where I regret picking your fucking head. I am offended by the aesthetics of your hat. Hey, long time no see. Hey, uh, can you do me a favor and lend me a thousand dollars? One should not conduct business with friends, for heartache and misery are surely a bedfellow soon to follow. Holy shit! That last knock on the head must have opened up that part of your brain that's smart. Indeed, intellectually enlightened and self-aware, which has presented a quandary. Go on, since I'm just pretending to know what the fuck you're talking about. It would seem upon reflection that the lion's share of my life has been a wasted cycle of alcoholism, abuse, and reprehensible behavior. So, you're thinking of changing your ways? No, I'm thinking of asking you to hit me in the head in hopes of returning to my former state of bliss, unencumbered by responsibility and the guilt-prompted desire to contribute to society. I'll do it. For a thousand bucks. I am afraid my funds are depleted to a state that renders such a possibility impossible. So how about I just do it to shut you the fuck up? Damn you for being poor, you fat, useless prick. Oh, come on, Marty, think, think. You're too beautiful to die.
The bird could have done without being that. Time's up, Marty. Give us the money. I got it, so go to hell. You know what to do. Last chance. I ain't paying, so take your best shot. And by the way, I screwed your mother. That's the best you got, asshole? You hit like a little girl! Tell you what, freak. I got ten bucks says you can't split my fucking head open with a bar still! I, I, I see a light. Is that you, Jesus? Oh, goodbye, cruel world. Well, that's a fun how do you do. Now, how the hell am I supposed to get the money from a dead man? Eh, sorry, boss. Ah, that's okay. I know how you like your hearing and whatnot. Let's beat it before the cops come. Done and done. Marty, you was a fucking genius. Hey, Marty, what are you doing? Kicking my fat drunk friend the head. Can I get a beer? Uh-huh, just let me finish up. Disrespectful juvenile! You've been a good friend, Percy. See you in hell! today with what some scientists are calling the most important cryptozoological discovery in the history of mankind. We go now to footage captured earlier this morning of what leading anthropologists are calling proof of the missing link and Neanderthal man. <laughs> I'm joined now by a scientist with a university degree in science. What does all this mean? Hard to say at this point. Obviously, we need further study. 
Well, science has spoken, Father, and according to them, Darwin was right, and God is dead. Thoughts? Well, that's ridiculous. A more complex analysis is needed prior to jumping to any conclusions. God works in mysterious ways. Easy for you to say. If indeed this is God's work, then are we looking at Adam and Eve? And if so, is the little one the Christ child? That's ridiculous. We've been telling you that for years. Go to hell. Make me. So the age-old debate rages on. We have assembled a graphic to help clear things up for our viewers. Tom, can we see the graphic? We have more breaking news on this story. We go now live to my colleague Jim. Jim? Well, by the looks of it, both science and religion will have to wait, because what has been called the Bigfoot family has been captured by oil and fuel magnate Don Yell Givens. I am joined now by Mr. Givens. Hello. Mr. Givens, you are known worldwide as the major benefactor of the environment, owner of many zoos, your own biodome and the like. Uh, what are your plans for the Missing Link family? Well, I tell you what I miss are the good old days of family values and people meeting at the community gas station and the malt shop to get to know their neighbors. I want to recreate some of the nostalgia of those grand old times long gone. So I'm going to put the whole family in a cage outside of my flagship gas station. <laughs> I thought you already had a retired circus bear out there. I sold the bear to a trophy hunting company where it was returned to its natural habitat and then shot in the head by a Japanese businessman two hours later. Excellent! <laughs> Fuck off, you little prick! <laughs> no! No, wait! Wait! Send help! Please! Please help us! Fucking guy's late with our lunch slop! Burns my ass! Hey boy, you got any smoke? Shh! Don't talk so loud or they'll come an innocent ahead again! So? We gotta get out of here! Don't look at me! Why I gotta do everything? Fucking boy, don't do nothing! This is another fine predicament you've gotten us into, Kevin. 